Gmail has an organizational feature to help you with your tasks, and it is called Tasks. Along the right hand side, under Calendar, Keep, you have Tasks right above your contacts. If you click on Tasks, you'll have this sidebar that will open where you can add a task for yourself. You can give it a title, such as to do, details on what you need to do, and even give it a date and time, and then the task will be set on your calendar. You can even have the task repeat. You can do it here on the calendar, or located right here, you can set up that the task will repeat whenever you want it to on your calendar. Once you've completed a task, you can click Mark as Complete. Let's go look at the calendar to view it. I'm going to move over to Calendar. And now I'm going to go to month just so you can see it. And now I have that repeating to do on my calendar. I can also click on it and mark it as complete. And then it will cross off. I can also mark it as complete here on my to do list, my task list. You can make multiple task lists and have different task lists. So if you have another project, that you want the task separate, you can create the task list for the project. And up here, you can switch between your tasks. You can also make a task a starred task, which is an important task, or however you want to use start. If you have an email, let me go to this email. I can add this email to my task list. Maybe there's something in here that I need to do. I can come up here at the top and click on add to tasks. And I can also add date and time and make it repeat or star it. I can also add subtasks, delete it, or change which list it's appearing on. The nice thing about this is the email is attached to the task. So when I click on this little email, there it is, and it'll open up. You can assign tasks to spaces within your chat. So here is my chat, and I can assign tasks to this group. For more information on that, check out my Gmail chat.